All right, let's be honest for a minute. Older girl and whoop your ass the first time you fought him. Don't even lie. <laughs> Don't even lie, man. Like the speed, the aggressiveness, the fact that he can put that bleed on you. That's what used to get me is that that bleed. Like I be fighting him, not paying attention to my health bar, and when I look up, I don't lost all my health because I was moving while I was bleeding. Definitely a monster I used to struggle with. Definitely a monster that I see others struggle with. You know, like I say, his his speed, his aggressiveness. You really have to learn his move set. You have to get that down. Once you get his move set down, you go. That that's all it is, just learning that move set. Learning that, you know, he gonna have downtime after so many moves. But that's pretty much any monster. Every monster in the game does that. Like they do so many moves and then they got a little downtime. Some have smaller uh, windows than others. I like to take my time with monsters that are super aggressive, man. Because they'll come on you to death. And then uh, older Gary to put that bleed on you too. Yeah, we. This monster right here, slow it down. <laughs> slow it down and, and think before I attack. Because <laughs> mess around and. Attack at the wrong time, and that might be the end of your life. You know, and now I think about it, I was playing through world for a long time without upgrading my armor. Like, I was getting one shot there, I was like, man, what the hell is going on? I'm getting one shot? Because <laughs> I went upgrading my armor, you know. It, once again, I've said this before. This is just to me. You know, it's not going to apply to everybody. I feel like rise was a little bit more new friendly than world you know it is it, it's just things about world that i didn't know back then it's where when i played rise rise pretty much told me everything i needed to know you know when we talk about um like getting the armor spheres to upgrade the armor and stuff like, you know, in Rise, you go and you select your mission. You can select, like, the little optional missions, and they give you the armor spheres and stuff. In World, you have to actually go find the people to talk to. You know, you just can't go up to the uh, the handler, and she lets you do that. Like, in pretty much Rise, you know, Rise, well, I ain't going to say Rise got a handler, but they got the, you know, the little hub or the person that give you the quest. You know, in world is is separate. You have to go find the people that give you those quests so you can get the armor spheres and stuff. What they call them then? Not the investigate. Or they call the investigations, or the bounties, or something like that in world. But in in rise, rise was just a little bit more new friendly. You see what I mean? That's just my opinion. Though. But I'm not gonna sit up here and tell you that rise is better than world or world is better than rise. Me personally, I'm not into that. I enjoy both of the games but if you want to talk about more new friendly i'm i definitely would say rise for sure you know um like i said I, I really feel like world was made for veterans like people who already knew what to do like yeah i'm not i'm not saying they already knew how to kill every monster but they knew like the basics of monster hunter because they had been playing since the first monster hunter so it was, it was just a little hard for me to really dive into world because of that. Because, like, I didn't know what to do. Knowledge is everything in these games, man. That's what makes me love Monster Hunter and Dragon's Dogma. You actually have to think. You can't just walk up and, and spam a button and kill a monster. If you don't have a game plan, nine times out of ten, you're going to fail this quest. But that's going to be it for me. Y'all know what comes next. Like and subscribe if you ain't. Comment down below if you don't. Cut on that notification bell. And with that, I'll see y'all later.
ahead, you'll be winded and vulnerable. Veteran hunters know to always keep an eye on that gauge.